We are back in the studio, and I would like to record the daily financial news for what I was reading about on Friday, uh, January. Wow, January. Where'd that come from? June 23rd. Lots going on. We're going to talk about the key earnings of the week, some economic news. We'll talk about Pantheon chief economist, uh, about what's going on in the housing market. We'll talk about National Association of Realtors and existing home sales. So let's just jump right into it. As you know, last Thursday, National Association uh, of Realtors reported existing home sales. Uh, in Thursday's show, we talked about the number, which was 4.3 million. That was up just a tick from the month earlier. Uh, and we saw the inventory grow 3.8% month on month. As we dug into the numbers a little bit more, we now have a price decline of 3.1% year on year. Yes, the median home price uh, is 396100 We did see a continuation in the transaction crash. Uh, the transaction crash is still over 20%, so down 20.4%. First-time home buyers were up to 28%. So for all of those people out there saying nobody can buy a home, the data says that that is not correct. First-time home buyers are up to 28%. Investors, investors are down 1% to only 15. Distressed inventory, however, did double. Yes, distressed inventory went from 1% of the market to 2% of the market. Distressed inventory being either a short sale or a foreclosure. And that cash buyers, there is still a lot of cash sloshing around in the system. Cash buyers were 25% of the market. I do think it's very interesting that the data is starting to show what you and I have been talking about for about a year, and that is the higher the price, the slower the market. So if we take, for example, the median home price, which again was 396000 you take that band of 250 to 500 you see that that market is down 11%. If you look at the luxury market, which again, the National Association of Realtors pegs at over 1 million, that market is down twice as much. The transaction volume is down 22%. So again, lots of stuff we've been talking about. Again, price is down negative 3.1%. Uh, transactions were up a tick to 4.3 million. How about some key earnings next week? We do have some key earnings coming out. I will be looking at Carnival, Carnival Cruise Line. I would be most interested in their future bookings. What is going on? Are, are they filling up their cruises? Are they having to discount them? What is going on? Wednesday, we will get General Mills and Micron. What's going on in the chip industry? What is going on with food at the grocery store? Thursday, we will get Nike. Nike will be a tell for China, right? Something I will be watching in Nike's report is what's going on in China. And then Friday, we will get Constellation Brands. And then on the economic front, we will get some housing data. On Tuesday, we will get Case Schiller for April. I want to be very clear right here, right now. I expect that to be a negative year-on-year -year number. I believe Case Schiller's housing prices will be negative, and I think they will be negative for the next three or four reports. Uh, so again, uh, expect that. New home sales will be coming out, and I expect that to be a blockbuster number. Uh, I believe it will shock everybody how strong that is. Uh, we will also get consumer confidence. Thursday, we will get another reading on initial jobless claims. Remember the last three weeks, we've been about 264,000. Are we staying stable? Are we increasing or decreasing? And we will get pending home sales. And then Friday, we will get PCE, again, often called the Fed's inflation, favorite inflation gauge, and consumer sentiment. So a lot of important data, a lot of stuff to talk about next week. Barry, billionaire Barry, Barry Sternlich from Starwood is out on CNBC again. And yes, folks, he brought PowerPoint. Yes, billionaire Barry brought PowerPoint again. Uh, he admitted that he was a little early on his recession call. He didn't understand the strength of the consumer. And he went on to talk about jobs. Uh, apparently in his hotel business, they are down something like, I don't know, 6,000 or 60,000. I don't remember the number. But again, a lot of job openings that they can't fill. And basically the point of Barry's talk is, hey, if people are employed, people are going to spend. Uh, continuing on, 
uh, we got some more news uh, from Janet Yellen. Uh, Janet Yellen, our Treasury Secretary, says there is a lower risk of a recession and that consumer slowdown is needed to beat inflation. Uh, I do think they're kind of tied together, but uh, that is what she shared. Um, Bank of England, uh, again, with their surprising rate increase of 50 basis point, which the market was not expecting, uh, they are creating some real pain for their citizens, not only in the housing market, but cost of living, discretionary spending. Uh, I think a recession is all but inevitable in the UK or Bank of England is causing. So again, um, my thoughts are out to the folks there. Pantheon chief economist is baffled about the emerging narrative that the housing is recovering. Uh, Pantheon Economics uh, believes that the downturn will, uh, in demand will morph into falling prices, to which I guess we will see in the second half. Uh, lastly, uh, let's talk about FedEx. It looks like FedEx is shutting down 29 more aircraft as demand shrinks. So again, we've been talking about FedEx and UPS uh, you know, when we were shipping boxes around the country, they were doing quite well, and clearly uh, they are not now. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. It's just a little catch up. I no longer record on Fridays or Saturdays, but I think it's important to continue the string of daily financial news. So I will be recording Saturday's session in just a minute.